Today, we will be looking at making major and minor revision changes on the 3D Experience platform. The first thing that we will do is notice the Collaborative Lifecycle application, and when we drag a file into the Lifecycle app, we can see that it gives us a workflow, including states like private, in work, frozen, released, and obsolete. So let's start off by briefly going over each state and what they do, then we will move a part through the workflow to make both major and minor revisions. If you're interested in learning more about each maturity state, check out our blog that is linked in the description below. Our life cycle starts in the private state. In this state, the owner is the only person who's allowed to edit that file. Other people can see the files in the private state, but if you're not the owner, you're unable to lock the file and make changes. Next is the in work state, and this is the default state that a new file goes to when it's saved to the platform, and it allows for editing when the file is locked. We then have a frozen state, and this is used for when designs are finished, but they're waiting to be reviewed before actually releasing them. Then we have the released state, and this is when files are approved and ready for production. Lastly, we have the obsolete state. And you can think of an example for maybe when you have files that you may not want to delete because they're being referenced in existing assemblies, but you also don't want engineers referencing them in any new assemblies going forward. So an example of this could be maybe a discontinued vendor part or something like that. After talking about each state of our life cycle, here's a quick graphic to understand the revision scheme. We can see that when we are in the released state and move that back to in work, this creates a new major revision. While if the file is either in work or in a frozen state and we create a new revision in those two states, that will create a secondary revision increment or a minor revision. So in today's example, we'll see what it looks like to make a major and minor revision change on this wireless router part. I will add a new logo to the router top part and make some minor revisions along the way. Notice if I drag this over, these files are already in the released state. So we will make a new revision of this file, which will be moved to the in work maturity state. Notice that these files are already at revision A1. When I make a new revision, they will not only be moved to the in-work state, but they will be at revision B1, because any time you make a new revision of a file that is in the released state, it creates a major revision. Not only does bumping the revision here move us to B1, but you can also see the minor revision, the numerical value, is also reset to one at the major revision. For example, if you were at A4 and we bumped up to the next revision, we would be at B1 and we can go to B1, 2, 3, 4 until we get to the next major revision. So again, this router top file is the one that I wanted to make a change to. I can see router top here. Not only do I have to make a new revision of the router top file, but the assembly that it's a part of, as well as the top level assembly. I'll right click on these files and choose new revision. I can see they were, were at revision A1. They are now moving to revision B1. And I can leave a comment here saying add a logo and I'll press revise. Once the revision is successful, I can see that these files have now been moved to revision B1, a major revision change. And I can see this icon is indicating that they need to be saved to the platform. So I'll right click and I'll choose save with options. Using save with options allows me to tag it with a bookmark so that I can be able to find it easier later. So I'll select from my bookmark here, I'll select 3DX router demo and I'll press save. Now that the files are saved, they are locked by me and I can go ahead and start making my changes. So really quickly, I'll go ahead and I'll make these changes. And let's say that this took me a long time to get this surface body created. And maybe I just wanted a quick little milestone or a minor revision. 
So notice that the file is still in the in work state. By right clicking and choosing new revision while the file is in either the in work or frozen state, this is going to create a minor revision. So I can see this is going from B1 to B2. I'll say logo added needs intersect. And I'll press revise. So we can see that the file is now at revision B2 and it is in work still. We'll go ahead and we'll finish up making our changes and then ultimately we will show what this looks like in the assembly view and see how we can send it to either frozen or released states. I've now finished making my design changes. I successfully added that logo to the top of the router. What I'll do is I will save this component and go back to my assembly. So again, right click, I'll choose save with options to ensure that I can tag this with the appropriate bookmarks. Since I'm done working on this file, I'll go ahead and I'll choose unlock after saving to allow anybody else to work on this if they needed to. I'll close out of this file and go back to my assembly. So I'll go ahead and I'll save these top two files here. Again, tagging them with the appropriate bookmark. Notice that I forgot to check the box unlock after saving. It's just as easy to unlock these as right clicking and choosing unlock. Now that my files are in a major rev B from going from released back to in work, I can see my router top component is at B2 because we've incremented the revision in the in work state as well. I can take these three files and move them through my maturity state by right clicking and choosing maturity. I can see they are currently in the in work state. I can go ahead and move them to the frozen state so that they can be approved by whoever needs to approve them. If they notice anything needs to change in the frozen state, we can always create more minor revisions in the frozen or in work states. And then when we are done, we can go ahead and move these to the released state where they will stay at their current revision until a new one is made, which would again be a major revision. So I'll go ahead and I'll move these files to the released state. I can see that they are currently at B1 and B2. And when I move them to the release state, this releases the file at the current revision. So again, when you release the files, it does not increment the revision. We incremented the revision already ourselves. And when we release the files, it releases them at the current revision. For more information about each state in the collaborative lifecycle application, check out the blog listed in the description below. And if you like this video, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel.